sandy beaches of Miami comes today's game from Pro Player Stadium. Tonight's game will be played in a steady downpour as the Steelers match up against the Dolphins. We're here for another great game. Welcome to the action. I'm Al Michaels, my partner, John Matt. Now here's one of the better quarterbacks in the league. And the great thing about him is that he always gets the job done. Maybe it's selling a play pass or throwing a block on a reverse. He's always out there doing the little things to help his team to victory. Mike Ward will be his go-to guy once again and for obvious reasons. He's one of the better route runners and always seems to make the catch in traffic. Stopping this combo hasn't been easy for many defenses, so we'll have to see what type of coverages they go with to prevent these two from doing a lot of damage. Look at those guys down there. They can't even sit still. Heck, watching from up here almost makes me want to go down there and join in. Let's go to midfield for the coin toss. The lights are on. Both teams are ready, so let's go to the field for the opening kickoff. And he got all of that one. A great kick. To see how effective they can be with their first drive of the game. Our EA Sports coaching pulls up features two of the premier coaches in the National Football League. Bill Cowher has one of the most impressive track records of any head coach. He's only the second coach in NFL history to have started a career with six straight playoff appearances. The other was Paul Brown. Number seven with a man in motion. Tom breaks the play up in the backfield. Well, we looked at the first coach in our EA Sports coach close-up. Opposing him will be the one set who's posted a very good record through the regular season over the past four years, including a division title in 2000, which was the Dolphins' first since 1994. Only one man in the backfield. Scrambling. With the throw. And it's complete. Diving tackle at the 33-yard line. John, for people who love defensive struggles, this game is exactly what they're looking for. Two of the best in the league out on the field today. These are two of the most talented defenses in the league. Not only can these guys stop you from scoring, but they can create scoring by themselves. Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't be surprised if this game turns on a big defensive play that generates points, like an interception return or fumble recovery, something like that. Pickup of a bat five. They need five. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Looks like he's calling an audible. Goes with a short pass to the right side. Greenwood makes the tackle at the 38. He caught the pass, but didn't go anywhere. Nope. They were on him like glue. Five yards to go. Only one man in the backfield. With the pass, and the catch is made. Dives and brings him down at the 49-yard line. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. But this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. Stops him at the 42. And that's a gain of about eight. They have to get the ball inside the 39 to convert. They'll go from the I formation. Pressure steps up into the pocket. Good play in the backfield by Greenwood. Number seven was done in by the rush. They have a bunch of guys in this defense that can really get after their quarterback. With their speed and quickness, they can get around the blockers and put a lot of pressure on the signal call. Miami comes out in their nickel package. Under pressure, throws it. Perfect pass. 
breaks the tackle. And he just got level. Yeah, you know that whole deal about what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Well, the unstoppable force won that one. They have to get the ball inside the 39 to convert. Trying to avoid the hit by sliding feet first. So they have first and ten here. Tillman comes in motion. He'll get it again. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got caught. I'll tell you one thing, he's going to feel that in the morning. He was fortunate to get anything on that ball. That's a tribute to their strength and conditioning coach. These guys spend almost as much time in the weight room as they do on the field. And you see it pay off when a guy can turn a play that looks like a sure loss into a play for a couple of yards. Staley, the deep back. Looking for an option. Looks to the end zone. This pass is incomplete. This is just a beautiful play to force the incompletion. I mean, he gets up high, and he turns what could be a touchdown into a heck of a defensive play. Looking to run it here. Nice play for him. Scrambling. A lot of space in front of him. The 30, number seven, plays it safe. Within scoring distance. The Steelers come out in the bunch formation. They'll pass on first down. With the pass, incomplete pass. So we'll have second down now after the incomplete pass. 14th play of this drive. The backs are lined up in an eye. Drops back. Steps up into the pocket. Throwing. Madison is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 13. Good read finding the single coverage in the secondary. And this is the 15th play of this drive. They're within striking distance here. Staley, the deep man. Looks like he's calling an audible. Stop behind the line. Great read by the defensive line there, John. They knew exactly what was coming. And knowing what they like to do out there comes from lots of film study and preparation. When you know what a team likes to call in certain situations, third and long, second and short, it really gives you an edge on defense. Staley lines up behind his fullback in the eye. He surveys the field, lobs one into the end zone. Mexico Burris is in there for the touchdown. comes in to attempt the point after. The kick is up. The point after is good. They made the defense look inept on that drive there. Chewing up more than half the field. Taking more than four minutes. Winding up with a touchdown. You see the way those guys walked off the field, kind of had their heads down? The offense is just dominating them out there. Booming kick downfield. From the four. To the 20. Miami losing by seven. It's back out. First and ten. The backs are lined up in an eye. Drop behind the line for a loss of the cover. Miami couldn't find an opening and was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. He can explode through the hole. And he needs a line to create that little crease. 
or cut back lane to break free. After one quarter of football, a touchdown separates these two teams with the score. The teams have switched sides and will start the second quarter. It's second down and a long way to go. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. Miner. Taylor makes the stop at the 26. Miner couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. They get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. Mark, the deep man, throws it. He hits his receiver. Townsend makes the tackle at the 39. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. So this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. Going to the right. And he's brought down in the backfield. They were waiting for him as he tried to take it to the outside. And that run started off going east and west, which isn't bad. But then it got worse, and it went south. Second and long. Defensive line shifting around a bit. Miner lines up behind his fullback in the eye, launching the pass deep down the right side. This one falls incomplete. He thought he had something long, but there's no connection, and it's third down now. Sixth play of this drive. The defense lines up in the nickel. With the pass, almost picked off. The defender got in between the ball and the receiver again. They play a very aggressive style of defense, so that'll happen a lot to an opposing offense. Right away, back to return. Here's the kick. We'll stop this one where it went out. It's first and ten. Staley, the deep man. Knight brings him down at the 37. He could be seeing more carries after that game. If the defense is looking to force these guys out of their game plan, they're going to need to attack the ball carry and punish him every time. Five yards to go. They'll go from the I formation. Calling an audible. Aimed it off to the back. Zertan with the tackle at the 44-yard line. And that game will get them a fresh set of downs. He just exploded towards the marker that time. That was a big-time run. So they have first and ten here. Ryder, the motion man. Staley. Can't bring him down. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. Who Staley is in there for the touchdown. When you talk about a dangerous back, this is what you have to be able to do. Not only get out there and outrun the defense, but have the power to bounce off the tackle and keep going. It's on its way. The point after is good. They've now scored 14 unanswered points. They're doing a good job executing on both the offensive and the defensive side of the ball right now. I'm thinking they're going to keep this run going. Excellent possession there, John. Capped off by the touchdown. And right now they've given themselves a little room for error. They're moving the ball out there pretty easily. Every time I see these guys play, I'm very impressed by the players they have, especially on offense. But the thing that impresses me most is the coaching staff. Well, he's very well prepared. They do a good job of calling plays. 
and the players that are designed to take advantage of the other team's weaknesses. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Townsend brings him down at the 34-yard line. It's second down and five to go. Nickelback in this time. Gets the pass off, and it's caught, and he's brought down at the 46. Nice read, finding the receiver who was in single coverage. So they have first and ten here. The Steelers come out on a nickel package, throws it, and he hits his target. Logan stops him at the 34. Chambers rolls in the pass for a first down. He's picked up both first downs on this series. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. Slings it across the middle. Taylor brings him down at the 24-yard line. Feely doing an excellent job on this drive. Things are really slowing down for him right now. He's seeing the coverage and finding the open man with ease. He's really in some kind of rhythm out there. Ball on the 24-yard line. Fifth play of this drive. Two minutes to go. Pass play here on first down. Rowing. And this pass is complete. Townsend makes the play at the 10-yard line. Throwing on first down. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. Here's where the defense needs to make a big play. Maybe they bring some heat with a flitch or they change up the cover. That way they can force the offense into making a mistake and keep them from getting any points before the half. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. Hand it off to the fullback. Rob Conrad is in there for the score. Great rushing touchdown there. He just kept his legs churning and moving on that one. Nobody was going to keep him from scoring. The lineup for the extra point. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. The Dolphins draw it within a touchdown. The Dolphins are ready to kick this one off. He got all of that one. From the two. They were very efficient on their last drive, relying on the running game as they moved down the field. Let's see if they go back to the run here. First and ten. Only one man back. He'll pass on first down. Goes with a short pass to the right side. Incomplete pass. And there should be a run on second down. They come out of the nickel. Flying time. Throws on the run. Pass goes incomplete. The defense can't get sloppy out there and miss tackles and let them get a first down. They might get the ball back and have a shot at some points before halftime. The Steelers come out in the bunch formation. Rowing. And it's caught. Breaks the tackle. The defender goes down. Yeah, he wasn't about to let the runner juke him. He watched the center of his body and bam, hit him solid. Just like you're supposed to do in a one on one situation. Hey, this is why you run those two minute drills in practice for a situation like this. The only difference is this isn't the scout team defense. Staley, the long setback. 
throwing on first down. Looking for the long completion down the left side. Incomplete pass. If this coach is anything like an he is, he won't be satisfied with Lee. And he'll have his guy throwing to give him a chance at some more points before halftime. Miami comes out in their nickel package. Scrambling. Brings it down looking to run. At the 30. Taylor with the tackle. At the 25. Changing the play now. Pass play here on first down. Closing in. Throwing. And it's caught. Madison makes the play at the eight-yard line. Directing traffic. Drops back, stepping up, gets the pass off. Randall out. He's in there for the touchdown. So they're trying to tack on the extra point. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. The Steelers are set to kick it deep. And he got all of that one. A great kick. From the two-yard line. Passing game is really working for them. We saw that on their last possession as they worked their way down the field for a touchdown. And let's see if they can do it again here. They're trying to get in range for a last-second field goal attempt before halftime. Passing on first down with the throw. The pass is picked off. The 30. The 20. He was looking for single coverage. Got it. The throw was off target. There's still plenty of time left. They might take a shot at the end zone here. But they don't want to blow their chance of getting some points before the half. So he has to be smart with his throw. Only one man in the backfield. He hands it off. Fakes the handoff. On the run. And he can't find a way to keep possession. Looking for the touchdown on first down, but couldn't get it to his target. <laughs> the Dolphins come out in a nickel pack. Daily. Throws one up in the end zone. Hines Ward is in there for the touchdown. They'll get set for the extra point. And it's on its way. And the extra point is good. Starting to get into the groove, that's 14 consecutive points. It sure seems like they've figured out the best way to move the ball against this defense. Booming kick downfield. From the two-yard line. To the 20. Defense intercepted a pass their last time out. This guy might have a strong arm, but I don't think we'll be seeing any type of Hail Mary. A simple run should get us to halftime. The backs are lined up in an eye. Booker, the motion man. Conrad uses to go down. Bell is the guy who's there to bring it down at the 28-yard line. They're going to keep testing this rushing defense. The guy seems to get stronger every time he touches the ball. The end of the second quarter with the score, Pittsburgh 28, Miami 7. So let's pick up the action. As we can set for the kickoff, we need to look at the halftime stats.
Decent kick. We should have a return. From the six. To the 20. The Dolphins have their work cut out for them as they take over at the 22-yard line. So we have first and 10 here. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Hand it off. Logan with the tackle at the 27. Good game for the offense here in the second. This is one of those guys who seems to play better as the game goes on. The more he gets the ball, the better he does. I'd expect to see him get quite a few touches here as the game winds down. Feely back in the shotgun. Feely with a man in motion. Drops back. Rowing. And it's caught. Taylor makes the tackle at the 35. Nice call going to the air. That'll move the chain. It's first and ten. Minor, the lone setback. Feely with a man in motion. Hands it off to the back. Polamalu pulls him down at the 41 yard line. John is still trying to move the ball on the ground. This is a tough physical team that likes to run the ball in just about any situation. When you can run the ball consistently, it really wears down the interior line and it helps to slow down those pass rushes. The Steelers come out in a dime package. Dropping back, gets the pass off, can't bring him down. Holcor with the tackle at the 43. Boston makes his second catch for a first down on this drive. First and ten. Set two. Set two. Miner lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Barrier records the tackle at the 34-yard line. And that's a gain of about eight. It's second down and one to go. the call makes the handoff he hits his receiver you could hear the collision up here he's feeling it right now either that or he's numb all over and that's worse feeling with a hot hand on this drive what he's doing is sitting back there in the pocket seeing everything making great decisions and getting the ball to the right guy he's playing very well right now key series here as they're in the red zone trying to stay in the game He'll pass on first down. Looks to the end zone. Touchdown. And this one isn't quite over. He'll get set for the extra point. The kick is up. The point anchor is good. The Dolphins still with a lot of time left and down by two touchdowns. The Dolphins are lined up for the kickoff. Good distance. From the five. To the 20. Pittsburgh is looking to extend its advantage as they take over again offensively. First and 10. Put up some very gaudy numbers rushing on first down. Now the defense is getting pushed around a little out there. The score kind of indicates it. He always displays great awareness and he gets in there and brings him down for a loss. I'll tell you, he might be one of the smartest linebackers in the NFL right now. He anticipates, closes, then boom. He drags the ball carrier down for a loss. They line up in the I formation. Cut. 
Pressure coming. Buying time. Off his back foot. This pass is incomplete. Too tall for the intended target. The Dolphins come out of a nickel packet. Stepping up, looking for an option, gets the pass off. He finds his man. The keeper drive alive on that catch by Ward. I'll tell you, as far as hands go, this guy's one of the best in the business. Go across the middle or get down the field. And you know that he's going to make the catch. First and ten. Number seven, out of the gun. Scanina makes the tackle at the 41. Staley was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. They have great size and quickness up front. That allows them to hold up against the run while also giving them the speed to rush the passer when they drop back to pass. And this is the fifth play of this drive. And they need about nine. Staley in the backfield. with the stop at the 42-yard line. He might have gotten a yard or two. That guy got knocked around by that defense. He needs a little protection from his lineman. Sixth play of this drive. Eight to go. Miami comes out in their nickel package. Gets the pass off. This pass is incomplete. Say, so, yeah, got a hand up and tip that pass away. That's just the kind of play they've come to expect from him. He always seems to make the big play just when they need him to. Simmons lines up deep for the punt return. Here's the punt. Fair catch called for. So they have first and ten here. Only one man back. Hand it off. Big pop that time. You want someone there to tell you to watch out because he just got decked. Not much on that play. Yeah, and that's what happens when you talk about a disciplined defense. They stay at home and wait for the runner to come to them. It's second down and 10 to go. At the end of three, the score is 28-14. The Dolphins have the ball and a two-touchdown deficit to overcome to start this final period. Second and 10. He was in perfect position to make that catch. Yeah, the receiver showed great concentration looking that one right into his hand. Two yards to go. The corners move up to play this one tight. They'll go from the I formation. Gets the pass off. He finds his man. Colomalo is the guy who's there to bring him down. At the 43-yard line, they convert for the first down on that throw. And they ran the perfect play to get those couple of yards. First and ten. Defensive adjustment. Liner 
in the backfield. Crosses it out to the right. Gets it. John, one of your favorite terms right here. I'm going to use it. Boom. Yeah, but that's worse than a boom. That kind of hit could loosen your team. One yard gain on that play. And this is the fifth play of this drive. And they need about nine. Miner, the lone back. Pressure rolling out to his right. Drops the interception. I thought that was about to be picked off, John. The quarterback can get a little excited out there at times. Maybe that's what caused him to rush the throw a bit. And this is the sixth play of this drive. The Steelers come out in a dime package. With the pass. This one falls incomplete. John is able to tip it away again. On every pass, there's a window you try to throw the ball through. And right now, the defense is just shut the window. The lineup for what will be his second punt of the game. Here's the kick. From the 20-yard line, the 30, the 40. And he almost breaks it on that return. It's not just the returner that makes everything happen on a play like that. The blockers have to know who to block, and they all did their jobs on that one. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. The 40. Knight is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 33. Staley explodes for a big game. Most of the time when you see runs like that, there's some kind of mix-up in the defense. Sometimes it's the offensive line just doing a great job of blocking. I think that play was a little bit of both. So they have first and ten here. They line up in the I formation. Ball again. Freeman with the stop at the 28-yard line. They have to get to the 23 to convert for the first. Staley in the backfield. him down at the 26 yard line. Get this one to your halfback and let him drive it in the middle. Melt this drive for all it's worth. up with two backs behind him. He's at the corner. Dives and makes the tackle. Fresh set of downs after a nice pickup on the ground. Hey, nice job up front. Holding their block and allowing him to get a good run for a first down. This one is just about in the books. So with the ball on the red zone, they have a very good chance of extending that lead. Pull down after a minimal game. They just manhandle them at the line of scrimmage. I always say that if you win the battle in the trenches, it's going to go a long way towards your winning the game. up less than a yard. That was just a burst of power from the defensive line. This is a play that you need. Trust your quarterback to make a good throw here.
seventh play of this drive within scoring distance. Nickelback in this time. So we'll see if the field goal unit can come through here. Jeffrey comes out to attempt what will be a 34-yard field goal. And it's up. The try is good. And that touchdown might have wrapped it up. Yeah, I don't see how they can come back now. The Steelers are ready to kick this one off. all of that one. from the four yard line so the offense takes over still trying to figure out this defense the defense is trying to force a turnover which would put an end to this game right now the Dolphins come out with four wide receivers lined up tight Surveying the field. Almost intercepted. Almost a big turnover. The quarterback has all the tools to look for. He just needs to be a little more patient out there. Out of the shotgun. With the throw. And he hits his target. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got hit so hard he darn near had to take a taxi back to the stadium. They'll head right back to the line. Spike stops the clock. They have to move him down quickly here on second down. So it's second and ten. Booker in motion. Dropping back. Throws it. He hits his receiver. Hulk brings him down at the 41-yard line. To see something in the defense. He'll stop the clock with the spike. They'll have to get the ball inside the 31 to convert for the first down. Seven defensive backs in on this one. Gets rid of it. And it's complete. Townsend records the tackle at the 26-yard line. Looks like he's calling an audible. Spike stops the clock. They're going to need to pass here, and they're not worried about first downs anymore. They need big gains and a quick score. Out of the shotgun. He surveys the field with the throw. Incomplete pass. What a play by the corner to get to that pass. He really had good position on the receiver without interfering. It's third down here. They have to put points on the board very quickly and then hope to recover an onside kick. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Going behind, but caught. So they picked up a first down and a lot more. Good call there. The quarterback is calling them back to the line of scrimmage. Hill stopped the clock with the spike. So it's second and goal. I don't think they have a choice. They have to go for it. Goes with a short pass to the right side. And they turn this one over on down. Got the pass, but didn't go anywhere. Yeah, the defense is real good at putting a quick end to completion. And they're going without a huddle. That's the final gun, and the score is 31-14. For John Madden, Jill Arrington, and the folks at EA Sports, this is Al Michael saying so long.